everybody, it's Christine. It is day two of 30 Days of Sketches with Christy's Beautiful Wife. Let me show you the sketch real quick. It's by Kathy Price. And it's kind of interesting. There's a lot going on here, y'all. So we have, um, I'm kind of imagining she has a paper that she's rounded the corners on top of like a matted paper. She's got obviously two photos. The title's kind of going on up here with a scallop border. I'm imagining these are just, she's kind of thinking, you know, embellishment clusters with these banners here and then a little journaling. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not as far ahead as I like to normally be with this challenge because I like to usually be a couple of weeks ahead and I am barely 10 days. So, <laughs> I'm going to be a little bit smart, I think, and cheat just a tad. And I have got this um, 49 of Markets Sherbert. What is this called? Sherbert. Spectrum Sherbert. And if you'll notice on the sketch here, we got these banners coming down. And I have this piece of paper here. There was another one that had a banner, kind of bannery stuff, but it's this piece of paper here I really like because it's got this stuff here. And I'm going to pretend that's those banners, y'all. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I'm going to do that, which means since I, if that's the case, I'm flipping it, right? So my banner's there, which means this picture's going to be lower. These are actually my pictures, y'all. Um, and I'll talk about those in just a minute too. But these were, we were at the San Diego Zoo and we were up in that gondola type stuff. And y'all... Well, we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm going to talk about that when I do the voiceover. But anyways, I'm going to organize it like this because I'm going to pretend those are those banners. So I'm kind of already cheating just a little bit. Um, I'm a little sad because I'm going to end up, I don't know if I'm going to cover this or not. I got to think about this because I do like these little things here, but I want my title over here. Um, I've kind of pulled out, you know, this, what I have in the way of this question, there's all these papers here. And I, which also what that kind of means is I won't be doing these rounded corners, but it has this kind of neat like airmail looking deal that kind of has created that. This is the branding shirt. I have to cut that off. So I'm kind of cheating. I'm just telling y'all because I'm, I'm out of, I don't have a ton of time and I need to get it done. And actually I really like this collection anyway. So I have all these little punch out ephemera things here. Now granted this is in kind of the teal. So that's kind of, I think I say that there might be more in there. Y'all, I don't even know what's all in here. Is there any of the pinks in there? I don't know. Maybe not. So we'll have to make that work. Then I've got the rub-ons and um, more rub-ons. I have tons of rub-ons. I'm going to kind of poke around. I may have, I have another 49 in market over there. I might could pull out the, but on the other hand, maybe the, the blue and the green looks good because I got the little plants and stuff. So that might be okay. And then I pulled out this font. Now this to me is kind of a SpongeBob font, but I think I can, I don't know if I'm going to use it for sure because if I don't put the paper down here, I need something a little darker. So I may not use this, but I kind of liked it because I'm real terrified of heights, y'all. And I was kind of thinking, I don't know. To me, it was like kind of funny, but with this beautiful paper, it was kind of this ju juxtaposition kind of deal. Um, on the other hand, there's these cool little rub-ons that may have, like there's ultimate. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I have to play with this just a minute, which is kind of unfortunate because I don't have time, time to think. <laughs> um... But anyway, so that's where I'm starting. Uh, give me just a minute to kind of organize myself with as it regards to these things and figure out my title because I haven't done that, I guess, clearly. So uh, give me just a minute and I'll be back on. Well, y'all, this, this layout kind of took a turn that I necessarily didn't even think about during my intro, but I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out. So what I decided to do, I mentioned to you that I didn't really want to cover that corner and I showed you guys those rub-ons. One of those rub-ons, they had these, it's got this like, I don't know, like a compass or a map looking thing over the top of like the green. And actually, I really was proud of myself because I thought, well, I'm going to add these rub-ons. And so I brought in that green that's going to be in the ephemera with the rub-ons. And it looks like it's part of the pattern paper. I just, y'all, these, the, the 49 of Market stuff is just stunning. I mean, I just love it. I, it's definitely challenging sometimes because there are these prints and different things, but y'all, it is just beautiful when you do layers and, and, and you use the rub-ons and things like that. I just love it. Um, uh, so anyway, sorry, Saturn's kind of all up in our business as usual, but I take these rub-ons and I add these little splashes of color and I use that little rub-on up there as kind of her, you know, she, again, she had that little corner made with the little banner. So I've definitely cheated on this thing. I initially thought to use this little uh, photo deal that I had cut out at some point with a different layout. I decide against it. I decide, you know what, the la the little rub-on is acting just fine enough. And then there was these little chipboard pieces I had pulled out of the little set and it said, Hello Fun. And I really like this, y'all. I think that turned out so pretty. And again, I think it's, you know, it's inspired by the layout or the sketch, even if it's not exactly. You can kind of see right there on my iPad there, that's what it would have kind of looked like. 
And so I've definitely tweaked it. It's definitely uh, more of an inspiration than it is an actual like copy of the sketch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these rub-ons and I'll cut away in a minute because I'm going to basically now add the rub-ons in the places that she shows the embellishment. So they're going to kind of act as like a little base for my ephemera. So I'm just picking these same little design with a little, I'm sorry, I think that's a map. I don't know, like a radar looking thing um, with the lines, you know, but it's got these pretty, pretty green little splatter looking things. So I'm going to just add those in those places and you kind of see that. And then my lower right down here, I've got another one that's kind of big and I, I trimmed it up and I'm using it. So I'm just putting that down there. Like I said, these are just kind of my embellishment bases. And this is where I'm going to start adding the, uh, the flowers and the little punch outs. So in a second, I'm going to start pulling those out. I did go ahead and punch everything out. It was, I had initially had them in the little plastic deal, you know, the little case or the packaging or whatever, and they were still all together with their thing. I went ahead and punched them all out so I could sort through them. I will say you got to be a little bit careful because some of the little stems and things like that are really narrow and I definitely yank on them sometimes and yank their flower off, which is, it's a little sad. I feel bad. I feel like I've yanked a flower, but it's okay in the long run. It works out. Now I do put foam behind that second picture of my husband there. And so you'll see me do that. So I'm going to tell you real quickly about these pictures. So I've mentioned a couple times now we were at the San Diego Zoo and they have a really great transportation system. They have some little, uh, trolleys or not trolleys, I guess it's buses or what you want to call them. There's one that takes you around. It comes back to the same place because it's kind of more of a mini tour. And then there's one they call kangaroo and you kind of ride the little bus and you hop off at a stop or whatever. But then there's these sky faris and they're the gondolas and they probably go, I said they were like 200 feet in the air. My husband said, no, they're like 75 feet in the air. <laughs> Because I've also mentioned to you guys, I'm, I'm terrified of heights. I do not like heights. I, I don't enjoy them at all. I am not a thrill seeker from that perspective. So they scare the crap out of me. So I'm always really proud of myself when I kind of, I guess, kind of overcome. It, uh, it makes me, uh, I'm, I'm just really proud of myself when I do that. So I, like we've done zip lining and things like that. And I'm really proud of myself when I do it. I tend to actually kind of half enjoy it. Um, it's just that, that's, I don't know, the fear of falling maybe. Even on the gondolas, you know, they're kind of dangling up there. And I always think to myself, well, my God, what if this thing just falls? And I go, well, I guess it is what it is. So anyways, I'm really proud. Those pictures are the ones I took while we were up there. And it's you can kind of see, you can look down a little bit in the picture. And you're looking down on the, the treetops. So quite tall. Um, so anyway, I'm going through these little florals here. And I've got basically little green and, and blue flowers that I'm kind of filling out on these little spots here. And then um, after I pick out my flowers and I kind of organize everything, I'm going to end up pulling in some butterflies. Uh, there were butterflies. It, obviously, it's a zoo. So there was, um, we went to this one place that was had, um, I say that, there was an aviary and we there's like hummingbirds all in there. There was like a little monarch butterfly. What was that called? I don't remember the name of it, but they have like, they're in there, but you're not really allowed to go. I think they were kind of either hatching or getting ready or something. So we're not really, I don't think we went in it, but you could see them all flying around. And of course, outside there's obviously butterflies and things, just natural, you know, butterflies because there's tons of um, foliage. So it's really beautiful. So I'm actually really proud of this. I, I figured out some little butterflies. And, I've, and I found out my florals. Now, I'm not going to glue those on camera. I'll come back in in a minute and do that. But I did also pull out these little stickers. Now, I think these little stickers, this is not from 49 and Market. Um, I'm trying to remember who this was, y'all. I remember looking at the package thinking, don't forget to tell them. I'm going to have to, if you really want to know, just ask me in the comments and I'll tell you. But basically, there was a bunch of different, like, you can kind of see like a little ombre, um, set of colors there but they went with this color palette really well and one of the stickers is the definition of together and then a couple of the little green stickers one says trust the process and one says enjoy the ride and then actually ultimately that's where she had the journaling in the sketch and ultimately underneath that I'm going to end up writing in um Greg and I on the sky Fari ride in San Diego Zoo but for the moment I'm just adding those little bit of colors I think that turned out so pretty y'all I'm not even Almost you can't mess up 49 Market. I mean, you just layer stuff and it almost just looks beautiful no matter what you do. <laughs> it's almost hard to mess it up. Um, so here's kind of where I've got everything's laid out. And now what I'm going to end up doing, I will use glue and then I'm going to use little foam dots up underneath some of the flower tops. I'm going to put it up underneath the wings of the butterflies. I think every butterfly I do that. I do the wings of the butterflies. And then like this is the last little butterfly here that I'm gluing down. He's so cute. He's just tiny. And I use a couple little tiny little foam dots and I'll stick them up underneath there. But like I said, pretty much under most of the flowers, um, not 100%, but most of them, I'll either, I'll do like kind of the top of the flower. So I might glue the green part down flat to the paper 
and then I'll glue the uh, flower part or the put the flowers up on like a foam thing so it looks very dimensional and I mean I was sitting here kind of playing with it a minute ago like touching it and they're still really firm and I love I love it I think it's really pretty um, I did use a little Nuvo glue to glue down my title I, like I said, I felt kind of proud of myself because I did cheat in the sense like I didn't do a lot of paper layers. I honestly, looking at this layout, if you look, I only have one piece of paper, y'all. It's just one piece of paper, um, which kind of amazes me when I look at this and all the different layer uh, colors and texture looking things and designs and stuff. It's literally one piece of paper, y'all. And then the ephemera and the title. So, and rub-ons. I mean, it didn't. Okay, that's a total lie. I just told you. I did mount the photos and I forgot to mention this. I did get into my other 49 Market collection. And it did have like a little plaid. So you can kind of see I did mount the photos on the plaid. So I apologize. I guess I lied. Technically, uh, the the um, mat, that was technically a different piece of paper. So, okay, technically two pieces of paper. Um, let me see. I think this is where, yeah, I'm just riding Greg and I on the Sky Fari ride at San Diego Zoo 2023. And then that is all I'm going to do this layout, y'all. It actually didn't take me that long except for picking out all the little flowers and stuff like that. So... Here is the slowdown. You can kind of see everything up close, the little dimensions, like I said, with the foam. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the uh, links below or the little playlist because it will have everybody else playing along. And we'll have another video up tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.